I'm terrified right now is, as you know, all markets go up, and if the market goes down, President Trump will get the blame. And it's those guys. You see, the problem isn't in the stock market. The problem is in our bond markets. And the average person doesn't even know what a bond is because they don't have enough money. And we're being ripped off by the very people we trust our money to. Uh, please elaborate on that as a self-made you know, uh, Marine Corps veteran of Vietnam, a guy that's made hundreds of millions of dollars, number one New York Times bestseller. Uh, when you, you, know, you don't usually talk like that. When you say you're horrified, I, I'm listening. Well, all markets go up and all markets come down. It's like Lucy and the football. She's gonna, they're going to pull the football away. And they really don't want Trump to do what he does. And, um, and you have Buffett up there. You know, I mean, look at what Buffett's doing. He's taking his money from stocks and put it into a railroad. Everybody should not listen to what Buffett is saying. Watch what he does. You should get yeah, He says, money. stay in stocks, stay in stocks while he's grabbing his money out as fast as he can. I don't even trust what I hear anymore or read or I don't trust the media. And I, and I think that's a deeper issue right now when we can't trust our leaders and our media with fake news. So I, I really have no comment. No, I, I mean, I agree. Who knows what the truth is? And then they can't, they don't even know what happened. But then if we question it, they say we're bad. Right, correct. And then, you know, again, they're blaming guns and all this stuff. They want to take guns away. It's just a red herring. So uh, You've got the new book out. All your books are top bestsellers. Why the Rich Are Getting Richer, What is Financial Education? Talking about solutions here. I want to get into the book, and we're going to do that in a moment. But before we go any further, let me just ask you then, richdad.com is the big website. And again, a lot of these are just secrets that once you know them, you're like, wow, I didn't, why it's so simple? Why didn't I know that before? Reading your books has helped me so much be independent. But looking at Trump, I mean, I don't want to involve myself in a butt kissing deal here, but it's true. Four trillion in the stock market, hundreds of billions in new jobs, 1.6 million new jobs, 3.1 growth rate they say he could never had. Uh, and this is just getting rid of a few regulations, trying to deliver tax cuts, doing everything else he said. Why aren't they, why are they so against him when everybody, including Goldman Sachs, has made record profits the last nine months under Trump. What's their problem? He's like shoveling success at them, and they're mad. Well, I think the biggest reason is because um, most people are not getting richer. That's why my book is called Why the Rich Are Getting Richer, and the average person is not getting richer. And so that's why the meat the, and the media is obviously a big part of that because they lie to us. But people are getting poorer, not richer, no matter how high that stock market goes. And that's the problem. Explain it to me then. I mean, I haven't read the new book yet. I probably read, first book I read here is I was like 16 years old, uh, literally. <laughs> so, so, so explain to me, explain well, to me what I'm... Said, there's fake news. In 1971, when Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard, the U.S. dollar became fake money. And I became, and I was in Vietnam in 72 when that happened. And I started to realize that the U.S. dollar was not designed to make us rich. The U.S. dollar, once it became fake, you know, a fiat currency, was intentionally designed to steal our wealth and our lives. So that's why if you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which came out 20 years ago, I said the rich don't work for money and the rich avoid taxes. Because the more you work for money, actually, the poorer you get. Another example is I was at the bank yesterday doing desperately, because I have so much cash coming in, to hide it in different banks. And the bank teller sat there. She says, oh, we're going to give you 0.011%. I went, what? I mean, I've been so out of you know, doing my own banking. I said, how does somebody survive on 0.011 or 15 percent when inflation is running at 9%? You know, and so Americans are getting poorer just because they have no financial education in schools. And that's why Donald Trump and I became such good friends, is want to teach people about money. People are going to want to read the book, and they should read them all. But well, Thank you. What was the first book you wrote? Because, because I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm 44, and and I know from memory. I, I think I was in high school when I read your first book. What, what, when did you first publish a book? 
was 1997. Okay, then, it, then, 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 then my memory's wrong. It must have been after that. My dad was trying to get me to read books about investment and something else. But I know, I, I mean, I read your book very early on. Uh, it's just amazing, these common sense secrets. Well, it's that, that why is there no financial education in school? You know, and, and these teachers kind of teach. And, you know, my poor dad was a school teacher. He's a good man, but he doesn't know anything about money. And he's teaching kids that the rich are evil. And I'm going, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know. Let me just say it again. Our monetary system is fake money. And the people that work for it, the, you know, the, with that book, White Working Class and all that, they're getting ripped off. The harder they work for money, the more tax they pay. They put it in the bank, and inflation eats it away. And if, if they're in the stock market, they don't know how to handle it if the stock market comes down. And that's all basic financial education. So that's why President Trump and I have become good friends as advocates of financial education for everybody. How did he fundamentally know the same secrets you knew? I mean, how did you discover this stuff? Well, we both had rich dads. His dad was rich, and my rich, my rich dad was a rich guy. So in my latest book, Why the Rich Are Getting Richer, I explain how debt and taxes make the rich richer. In other words, it's ironic that, you know, in 1971, the dollar became debt, an IOU from the U.S. Treasury and the Fed. And because it's debt, the more I use debt to buy assets, the less tax I pay. So the reason the rich are getting richer is they use debt and pay less in taxes legally. Even before your book came out, my dad would explain, no, no, the rich are leveraging debt. It didn't make sense to me when I was like 14 years old, but, but that's that's what they're doing. But they teach yep. us to go into debt and st just to them for nothing instead of using the debt to build stuff. Yes. You should use debt. I mean, you have to have financial education to use debt because it's dangerous. If you go back in time, we had super ultra rich but maybe they had a third of the wealth or 20%. Now it's 70 plus percent is by less than 1%. Then that one tenth of 1% six, the giant underclass on the middle class, that's the top 10%, which is the engine of success. Why would the elites not just set up this consolidation of power and money and have vertical integration, but then try to kill the engine of free market like they're rising up the ladder so no one I mean, gets up at their... I mean, are they really trying to form a cold-blooded monopoly? That's why I like what you do. You're exposing what they're up to so that the average person can uh, uh, not be monopolized? Or what are you up to? Well, I hate to say this. You know, the story of rich dad, poor dad. My poor dad went to Stanford, Northwestern Univ University of Chicago. Very good man. And you would call him an elite. But they have no financial education. And they're more socialist than capitalist. That's where it starts. My concern is, without knowing it, the school system is complicit. They're part of the big part of the program because they teach you to be poor. Remember, the U.S. dollar after 1971 became fake money designed by the Fed and the Treasury and Wall Street to steal your life and your wealth from you. So that's why when you save money, you get nothing for it. The first thing you do when you get your paycheck, taxes are sucked out of it. So why the rich are getting richer is about debt and taxes, how the rich, like President Trump and I, get richer. I'm not saying you should do it or that it's not without risk, but you should be aware. Of sure, but how was the conscious decision made, 1913, and then, you know, you had other agreements later, Bretton Woods in the 40s. How do they decide, oh, let's dynamite a system that makes the general public wealthy and the elite even more wealthy. No, let's have a system where you're poor and the elite use austerity to control you. I mean, isn't that what the Trump revolution is? Is he's actually trying to deliver back a real level playing field? Because that makes the rich even richer. I, I mean, I mean, isn't that the essence of this? But that's why he's under attack so much. That's why under you're under attack so much. That's why I come under attack, because we go after the academic elites who are really parasitic. You know, they really don't know what they're doing. And they've led our country. You know, today we had Bernanke and we have Yellen. They're college professors running the most powerful central bank in history, and they need a paycheck. You know, we need somebody who knows. And they've how to just make Trump has forced them to come ten degrees 
not 180, towards what he wants, and it's already got the economy roaring, and they start going, oh, we'll never grow to, we don't want to overheat. Overheat means they don't get to turn you into renters, you become wealthy. They don't want that. Right, and the worst thing, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified right now is, as you know, all markets go up, and if the market goes down, President Trump will get the blame. And it's those guys. You see, the problem isn't in the stock market. The problem is in our bond markets. And the average person doesn't even know what a bond is because they don't have enough money. And we're being ripped off by the very people we trust our money to. Uh, please elaborate on that as a self-made you know, uh, Marine Corps veteran of Vietnam, a guy that's made hundreds of millions of dollars, number one New York Times bestseller. Uh, when you, you don't usually talk like that. When you say you're horrified, I, I'm listening. Well, all markets go up and all markets come down. It's like Lucy and the football. She's going to they're going to pull the football away, and they really don't want Trump to do what he does. And um, and you have Buffett up there. You know, I mean, look at what Buffett's doing. He's taking his money from stocks and put it into a railroad. Everybody should not listen to what Buffett is saying. Watch what he does. You should get yeah, he says, money. stay in stocks, stay in stocks while he's grabbing his money out as fast as he can. Amen. Watch what he does, not what he says. So get your money out of stocks and get into real gold, you know, silver, gold and silver coins, because there's now fake gold out there. It's fake everything. But anyway, right now, you better get real as quickly as possible and possibly start your own business, because if the next crash comes, Many people will lose their jobs. Well, so I mean, if the if, if the robber baron kleptocrat monopoly men would have gotten behind Trump's recovery, could it have been bulletproof? I mean, I hope it just keeps going, but I agree. They're openly fighting against it with interest rates hikes. They can't get rid of Obamacare right now. That's a wet blanket. I mean, to watch them cheerlead and admit they want to plunge things to discredit Trump, that is sickening. Well, what's really sickening is that they're only doing it to get richer. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? The problem started in 2008 when that market came down. They could have fixed it then, but they were making too much money, so why fix it? So the biggest money printing in history went on, and now they don't know how to stop what's about to come. There's too much money. Unfortunately, there's too much money in only a few people's hands, and that's why I wrote Why the Rich Are Getting Richer. Everything is opposite of what they teach you in school. And their desperate rearguard reaction is to start a race war so we don't notice that they stole our entire future and know full well what they've done and given all the fiat money to themselves. It'd be one thing if they gave it to everybody, you just have inflation, and which we do have. Instead, they've, as you said, they've concentrated it in the hands of a few thousand jerks who are all fake liberal dirtbags, and then Trump wades in and you wade in and try to fix it, and then they call you the devil. Absolutely, the same as you. So remember, there's fake news, there's fake money, and there's fake assets. And right now, you got to be very careful if you're in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or ETFs. you got to know what's real and what's not And real. your book breaks it down. It's one thing to ride the bubble up and get out at the right time, but you folks never know when the right. thief comes in the night. Your book breaks it down, but in a minute and a half, what are you doing with your money? Well, I'll, I'm in gold and real estate, and I love debt. And I minimize my taxes because I use debt. Remember, in 1971, money became debt. It's fake money. So when some people are saying, get out of debt, I'm getting into debt. And that's why debt and taxes make the rich richer. But there's a ratio to do it. You don't, I mean, if you're going to get into debt, you want to get in big. I'm 100% debt on most of my investments. But I've been trained to do it by my rich dad. So Trump and again, you explain that. I haven't read your book in 20 years, but you explain you had a rich dad and a poor dad. Well, my poor dad was my fa my father, a Stanford University of Chicago guy, but he knew nothing. And my He's rich behind dad you my right father. there in the photo. That's my uh, that's my poor dad. He was lieutenant governor of Hawaii. Yeah. Ran for lieutenant governor of Hawaii. He's a Republican. He got crushed because he stood up to the most corrupt state government in the, in the so nation. That's the poor dad. Tell us about the rich dad. The rich dad never, well, let me just say that he stood up to, as a Republican, to the corrupt Democratic government of Hawaii, and he lost his job. And then my rich dad was my best friend's father who never went to school, 
but he owned most of Waikiki. So I listened to him instead of my poor dad. So that was smart of you. <laughs> I like I, I like I like listening to smart people like you. <laughs> I listen to you too.